Hello everyone, tonight we're here with Gustav. He just won Eurosong 2023. Yes. And he's very, very excited. <laughs> yes, both I, am. I am. And very <laughs> surprised. I'm very excited. <laughs> yes. Shall we talk about this? Yes. Let's do this. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Gustav, we want to hear all your first emotions. You have given already a lot of interviews, but how do you feel? Please tell us as well. Uh, it's sinking in slowly but surely, <laughs> but I was honestly very surprised because I thought it was seven great songs and it was, for me, anyone's game. And I think I told myself, like, if you end up somewhere in the middle, it's all good, don't worry. And to actually win this is, is uh, mind-blowing, but I'm very honored and grateful that I get to do this and that people chose uh, a, the message of the song. That's beautiful to me. Do you think that people chose the song because the message? Do you feel that people, that was the reason that people went for the song? I think so. I, th I think the, the, the song is, is about something really dear to my heart. Mm -hmm. And on stage, like the singers were my best friends. My husband did the visuals. Yes. So because of you was literally there on stage. Those are my people. <laughs> and they helped me to do this. So it's, it's yeah, that's, I think that maybe <laughs> is one of the things that really helped me tonight. And let's just further talk further about your message. You've been talking quite a lot about it. Mm -hmm. But for those who don't know, can you please maybe tell the story behind sure. because of sure. you? Sure. I wrote a song with Jawad Alul, also a queer artist and a colleague of mine. And the song was really about the chosen family, which happens a lot of in queer uh, world. But I think the you and because of you is universal. Anyone who helped you to where you are in life and someone who helped you to say like, this is me and I love who I am because of you. That's the song really. It's very universal. And about your act, can you maybe already say something that you'll bring some parts to Liverpool or...? Well, I think this is a blueprint for the act, but I'm sure we're still going to like finesse some stuff here and there and, and get some stuff maybe a little bit different. But I think this is the blueprint for me. This is something that I really want to uh, focus on and keep going forward with when I go to Liverpool. That's very exciting because I heard, I read somewhere that this year Belgium also wants to do more promotion, maybe go somewhere on tour. Are you excited uh, I would. That? I love touring, so bring it on. Yeah. You know, and I also love the, a lot of my friends, it's beautiful. A lot of my friends are, including, including me, but I'm a Eurovision fan, but I have friends who also go to all the parties, who travel all the way to wherever they have to go to go to the yeah. final. So this is very exciting to me because a lot of my friends will actually be at these parties, which is incredible to me. So yeah, that's great. And have you ever been yourself at some, such a party or not yet? I, in Belgium to a couple, yeah. Oh. And I find it so beautiful because you have people who say like, I want to hear the song from Latvia from 2013 and they sing the whole song. I think that's so beautiful. There's such a beautiful community mm -hmm. spirit in the Eurovision world. I think it's beautiful. So you're a you big Eurovision fan yourself as well? Yes, yes I am, yes <laughs> I am for that. sure. We love yes, that. Yes, 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 yes. And I think it started with me as a child already where I was obsessed and I found books of mine where I've made lists of the best outfit, the best song, the best voice. I was literally obsessed with it. So it's it's uh, it's beautiful that I can do this. And speaking about outfit, we have to talk about yes. this. This is beautiful. We Thank just you. heard from uh, one of your colleagues at PRT that this is uh, Walter van Beierdonk. Yes, Walter van Beierdonk uh, yeah. made this. Yeah. And it's a full Walter van Beierdonk look. And this hat, I hope I really don't <laughs> mess it up. Because this hat, there's just two uh, versions of this hat. Uh -huh. And one of them is in a museum, and this one is the one I could loan. So oh, it's wow. it's very unique what I'm wearing, yes. And that's all thanks to because of Walter van Beren. <laughs> <laughs> Talk a little bit about the imagery that you have here because it's so beautiful. Like yeah, people, it's uh, it's it's yeah, sometimes sure. a bit uh, yeah. You can yeah. Just look <laughs> at it like <laughs> Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> this is typical Walter van Beren, and I love his style. He's a, he's, yeah. a, he's a great, legendary designer. And what was so interesting for us is like your shoes. Like I don't know if you know the wee blocks. I know though, someone well. told me this, yeah. but I really didn't. I had no clue till someone just told me. But it's true, yeah. But this is actually the wee from Walter van Beren, though. But if it's wee blocks, it's good too for me. <laughs> <laughs> maybe a little bit of luck for you then. Yes, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, would be nice. Like that would be yeah. nice. Yeah. <laughs> I like you were initially a backing singer and a yes. vocal coach. Yes. How do you think that that experience will differ from actually being a Eurovision star? You're actually a Eurovision star. I know, now. crazy. Yeah. I, that still has not. <laughs> believe it, that, that sentence just made me go crazy again. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, I think for me it's more. I have. I think I do have the experience because I, I, as you could probably tell, I was in utter utter shock when I won yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. But then when I heard like one, two, like you have to start singing like and when the world. It's just, I think I'm yeah. someone who just is used to performing and singing and just turning the switch and being like, I'm just going to do it. So I think that's, that will be a big help for me, I think, when I go to Liverpool. That sounds very good. Do you have one last message to your fans, your new fans, or followers, or readers? 
because you will be very, it will be very exciting to yes see of you. course well I, I think also especially with, with people who love Eurovision and, and all the people like you who really support the Eurovision world I think there's something so beautiful about the community of it and I think there's a very noble idea of choosing one song to represent Europe and doing that with love and I think please keep on doing what you're doing because you're keeping that spirit alive that's very good thank you so much thank Pleasure. you Gustav. Pleasure. Merci. Merci. Merci.